Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Now, recently I've been noticing a lot of comments uh, from you guys asking how to install mods into Minecraft. So I'm going to quickly show you. It's really, really, really easy and simple to do. On a Mac, I have no idea. So <laughs> you'll have to find that out elsewhere. But on Windows, this is how you do it. So I've got a completely fresh Minecraft installed with no resource packs or anything. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the Forge download website. I'll put all the information and instructions in the uh, description below anyway, so you can follow those. Once you get to the download page, you want to look for the recommended, this is the one I normally go for, the installer. If you click that, you'll download this file here, the Minecraft Forge installer. So that's the first file you need. Once you've done that, you literally close Minecraft, click the Forge installer, and you want to install the client. So you just, if, if you've got a regular Minecraft installed, it'll already have it selected. You just click OK and it's installed Forge for you. It's that easy. So then when you open up this, when you open up Minecraft, you'll notice here you've now got Forge in this little drop down. So whenever you want to run a mod, you make sure you select Forge and then you log in. Okay, so if I just click log in here, so I want to play. So you've now got, if you want to play Minecraft without any mods, you select the, the regular one. Or if you want to use mods, you can select Forge. So then you click play. Minecraft will then open, or it should do, hopefully eventually. It may take a little bit of time on the first attempt that you try and do it because it will probably download some files, etc. Okay, so for some reason, when I clicked open the forge, a little bar, like that bar was slowly going up. It seemed to take ages, so what I did was I just closed Minecraft again and reopened it, and it seems to go straight through now. So if that happens to you and you see a little green bar moving really, really slowly, I recommend you just close Minecraft and reopen it. So as you can see... We've now got Minecraft open here. You should see that Minecraft Forge, the version, etc. It says free mods are loaded. I think they're just um, I think they're just pre-loaded mods to make other mods work. So they're not mods that I've actually put in. And if you click here, it should be an empty list. Um, so I'm now going to show you the easiest way that I find it to install a mod. Like some people say go control run and find app data, etc. I just open up Minecraft, go options, resource packs, open resource pack folder, and you'll see here we now have the Minecraft folder. I then just click dot Minecraft, and you're in your dot Minecraft. You don't have to search for app data and all that shiz. You just get there nice and easily. So the next thing you need to do is you need to open up your mod folder, and then you just drop the mod in. Now if it's a regular mod like the Godzilla mod, you just drop it in. And then when you open the game again, it should be installed. So if we wait for it. Okay, now you'll see that there's four mods loaded. So if we create a new world and we have cheats on and we create that. And then when the world loads, we can uh, go into creative slash game mode one. And yep, there we go. The mod has oh, go away. The mod has installed. So that is easy, right? The installer for Forge downloaded instantly, and the mod you literally just drop it in. Now there are some mods, for example, the Pixelmon mod, which is slightly more complicated, but it's just common sense. It's just common sense, guys. Basically, if you read the instructions on the actual forum posts and the websites, you'll be fine. The Pixelmon mod, basically, you'll notice when you open the zip, it's got a mods folder. You just drop that into your mods folder. And then it's got a database folder. So, obviously, there's no database folder here. So, what you do is you just drag the database folder into there. And bam, you're done. You open up Mine Minecraft. You go, you go single player. Let's close this now. I don't need it. And you go single player, create new world, create new world, building terrain, because it loves to build terrain, otherwise you wouldn't have anything to walk on. And there we go, Pixelmon is now installed, it's as easy as that. And if you want to uninstall a mod, 
You do exactly the same thing. You just go resource packs. I mean, other people go control search and app data and stuff. I just find this the easiest way to do it. Like the easy guide. Just go dot Minecraft. You go mods. So I'm just going to close Minecraft. And then you literally just drag it into your recycle bin. And that mod is then uninstalled. And for example, if you don't want to use a mod, say you want to go on the Hypixel server or something like that, and you don't want a mod to be on, then you can just change Forge to your regular login like that. And it's as easy as that. It won't lock, it won't open any mods. And yeah, it is really, really simple. It is that simple. Now that um, Forge have installed a client, like an installer client, which opens this, it installs automatically in like a second so yeah uh, if you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below and please like it to support it if uh, if you've enjoyed it and hopefully it was informative and now you can go and download mods and try them all yourselves if you'd like another kind of little tutorial let me know and perhaps i'll do something on something something else so yeah thank you